right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning. And of course, welcome back to fishing. So uh, yeah, it is the last day of October right now. It's the day after the last hot video I probably posted. I don't know because I haven't made that video yet. But uh, chances are, uh, depending on how things go, that might have shown a different video uh, fishing in this area. I'm in East End of Long Island, fishing Long Island Sound. I'm uh, trying to mix up the videos, maybe not posting them entirely chronologically, uh, but just making it so it's not the same exact thing day after day. So I'm not sure where this video falls in the grand scheme of the posting, but lo and behold, it's the end of uh, October. Things are getting a little cooler, but fortunately it's fairly warm now, so I'm going to skip the dry suit. Uh, and it won't be a torrential downpour unlike the last video as well. So knock on plastic with that. The biggest thing we have to worry about is the wind. Uh, and it's not so bad right now, but it's going to pick up. Uh, unlike the last time I was fishing where I'm about to go, I do have a limited amount of time. I can only fish until, you know, probably noon at the latest. And right now it's about to be eight o'clock. Uh, so take that as you will. Uh, if it comes down to it, I might fish a little bit later if it's really, really good or trying to put together a good bite and it's finally, you know, coalescing. But regardless, uh, we're going to fish the way we can, but we don't have all day. So we're going to try and make this work for us and make it entertaining for you. So do stay tuned because you know what we're about to do. It's true. Get some fishing. Accomplished. Okay, folks, here we go again. On the water, bright and early, 8.30 almost. Uh, got a few hours. And fortunately, much drier than yesterday but uh where we're losing the rain we're picking up the wind and it might not look so bad but we're in a very sheltered area right now uh, as soon as i get around this point it might be a completely different story i mean it will be a different story but how different it is is the real question so if it's too bad over there we're just going to stay in this cove even though it's not my favorite place to do this kind of fishing but you know light pangy lemons etc so We'll see if we can get out to where we were the last time we were here. If not, we'll have to settle for something else. Well, like I said, the wind is blowing, so before I even get to the spot that I wanted to check out, I'm gonna check out this piece of structure just to see if this is even fishable. Because if this isn't fishable, then that's definitely not fishable. And there's no reason why there shouldn't be fish here either. I mean, there's plenty of structure. So we're gonna drop down here and see what we can do. Uh, throw our janky anchor set up that legitimately has like a dog collar on it as its metal uh, attachment and hopefully we'll get on some tog so yeah stay tuned for that i mean if we're not getting tog then i'm not sure why i'm even putting this video up unless something else crazy happens yeah there's the metal part which helps keep it on the bottom a bit better apparently so i'm just going by what other people have said i have no idea and it looks like we're getting right over the structure we get a little bit ahead of it because the wind's going to blow us over it and it definitely looks like there's some life down there yeah, this whole area looks money. It's a new spot for me. Uh, right about here should work. Let's go a little further to the spot that I marked yesterday, which I have not fished. All right, this will do. All right. Let's engage the anchor. Yesterday I did this, I almost didn't get it back. Got caught in some structure. All right, we're down. Get our little clip, which is right here. Got our clip. Take that off. Put that here. And put that also right here. Has a little give. And hopefully we're good. All right, let's give this shot a spot, see if we can build a bite. All right, fishing a half ounce jig. Let's get it down there and see if there's any life over here. A little shallower than I was fishing yesterday, but should be fine, I, I hope, plenty of structure. Let's see if anyone's home. Getting bites, but they're not taking it. Probably a little tiny tug or sea bass or something. Let's give the spot a little longer to produce. I don't have all day. Oh, 
Okay, there's no way I can really get to fish the spot I was yesterday, at least with an anchor, so. This is on the way to that spot. Just wanna see what it's like if I'm just drifting, if it's doable. Right now I'm on top of some structure. I mean, if conceivably I can catch a fish here, drifting I can do it there, but uh, if it's like yesterday, drifting is probably not gonna be the way to go. Especially with such a lightweight jig like I'm fishing. we're looking for though. Especially with this kind of work. But at least we're not totally skunked. Broke the ice, got a little tug. No anchor, because anchor is going to be a catastrophe with my setup today. But if this is the only way you can get them, it's the only way we can get them. Uh, we will use the anchor if we get in a sheltered area, but for here I'm just not looking to take all these waves over the bow or sideways. It's not a good time. Making our way back to more sheltered grounds. Still don't want to anchor here, but got some structure under us that's worth a look. Just pop and drop. Got some good structure here. Just running and gunning. If I see a good pile of rocks, we'll stop and check it out. If we find the right one now, we can anchor. It's doable here. I'm trying to find something about 25 feet of water. Seems to be the magic area. Let's try anchoring up again. It's a bit sheltered over here, and I can get to even more sheltered area, but trying to stay in about 25 feet of water and I don't know if I'll be able to do that in the most sheltered area but there's definitely something here I was getting little nips when I was just drifting so let's see if we can build a bite of better fish all right can't fish where I want to fish but uh there's fish here just seems like really small stuff getting cleaned out not landing anything I'll give this another 10 minutes if nothing we'll anchor up and go somewhere else Maybe we'll get some better fish with a, a little time. It's already getting bit. These bites be a little more aggressive, which is promising. Sometimes if you fish a spot long enough, the little bites will attract the bigger stuff. They notice something's going on. They're getting fed, so give it a little time building this bite up. Not bad. Not bad. Doubt it'll be a keeper, but better. Better than that first one. Showing promise. It's like a 14 incher. Not a keeper, but not a 2021 keeper that is. Back in the day though. All right, just got a better sized hog. See if we can build up this bite at this spot. It'd be great if we can just hang out here and do what we did yesterday. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This could be coming home with us. It's making a trip to New York City. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're coming home. Look at the measure. You're not very long, but you're very thick. I'm pretty sure he'll make 16. Let's find out. It's gonna be close.
it is just on the line 16. So we're taking them 16 on the dot. Cool. Just makes 16, so it's coming home with us. I got our first keeper bleeding out, 16 on the dot, hoping, hoping it won't be our last one. Building the bite here, so we're getting right back down. Uh, not putting that fish in the water just because there's a lot of seals around, and the last thing I need is going a mini Nantucket sleigh ride right now with a seal pulling me around. So let them bleed out, get it back down, building the bite up, hoping to get some more biggins. Already getting bit. Got him. Didn't even feel him. Weird sea bass, that's why. I don't mind if you sea bass, but not when they're this size. But I don't think there's gonna be many big ones in shallow in this spot. Okay, just got a small sea bass. Plenty of life down there. But we have to think we can do better. Got him. That could be good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Took it whole. Jeez. Good fish. That could be number two. That's number two. That's bigger than the first one. <laughs> it's bigger than the first one. Might just do another limit if we can get him. Didn't even know he was hooked. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. Jeez. Big male. Oh my god. Yes. Woo. Bulldog. It's like easily the same size as the one I got yesterday. Got our bulldog. Let's get him in. I'd say at least 18 inches, 19 inches. Getting hailed it. Holy sh! I need to break out the pliers for this, this one. Get our jig back. We miraculously got our jig back. So, yeah, got the bulldog. Got the death grip and the gills. Let's see if we can get a quick pick. All right, I'm sure I'm all, I'm all for the bat, back lid right now, but I don't feel like messing around with the anchor. Let's see what kind of measurement we're getting. I mean, he's easily over 16. He's probably like another almost, just almost 19 incher. Solid. It's like we got a, it's like we got a carpet of tog in the boat right now. I'm gonna move him over to the cooler bag once things start to clean out a little with the blood, but uh, let's see if we can get our third and final blackfish. As soon as we get a third fish, we'll end it. And I'm not looking to just like catch and keep everything I can get, but as you might know, I can't fish whenever I want this time of year. So I'm much more, much less selective about what I keep. So got to make good on keeping the freezer stocked. Already getting bit. Already lost our bait. Let's see if we can get our third keeper. There's one more down there. That's all we need. One more, and we'll call it a day. Like I said, gonna drive back to New York. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nah, he's not that big, but he's a blackfish, I think. Indeed, we're building the bite up, and of course, Fit. He found the anchor line. It's okay though. All right. Don't look in the boat, buddy. You don't want to see what's in there. All right. Cut up a bunch of crabs. Cut up a bunch of crabs. Wind's definitely picking up, so taking some weird waves right now. Not entirely loving it, but hopefully it will not be too much longer out here. Jeez, what the heck was 
set. That was a weird hook set. Oh, yo. Oh, sorry, buddy. It's deja vu. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You're so cool. You're a good, you're a good fish. Bye-bye. All right, got a popper for today. If we get a big popper, we'll keep them, but not no little guy like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, get out of there. It's biting now. I don't think he's big, that big, but nice. You're a 15 incher, but you're definitely not 16. It's a good sign though. Very graceful release. Let's get that bait right back down. It's the wind is definitely picking up. I mean, this spot was legit 20 minutes ago. Now it's starting to get as squirrely as some of those other spots. So if we can put an end to this thing, I will happily do that. Ah, you're picking up some muscles. Now you're getting strong. Felt small at first. Ah, maybe. Maybe. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe number three. It's thick, but I don't think it's long enough. I don't think so. I'm thinking 15. Ah, you're not big enough. If you're not as big as that one, you're not big enough. So the funny thing is, folks, like when I got to this spot initially, the first 10, 15 minutes was just baby bites, just little taps. But I've heard this online, I've read this online, I've seen it on videos, like sometimes when you just fish in one spot long enough, like the little fish will be the first ones to arrive and then them constantly feeding uh, just attracts all the other fish, especially when you're fishing green crabs like this and you're cutting the legs off and the claws, those are going overboard, the shell, the guts, uh, becomes like a feeding frenzy. So I will definitely say if you're finding life and there's good structure, definitely give it a little while before you you know, line up because just being in the spot, you know, as we can see, I wasn't getting anything like that at first, but then, you know, staying there long enough really made the difference. And it's been nonstop action at this point. Uh, a lot of small fish, obviously, but a few good ones in the mix. Baby, baby. I hope so. Let's end it. Let's let this be it. Be a keeper. I don't think so, but maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Ah, you're short. Good short, though. Very interesting colors. And a 15 incher. 14 and a half, 15. Got another nice short. I might need to abandon this spot, keeper or no keeper, just because it's getting a little bit too nasty here for my for my likings. But we'll give it maybe another couple drops. If, but it's getting pretty rough. Well, that figures. I was like, what's going on here? And of course, we got another puffer fish. make a move it's getting a little too snotty in this spot try it one more spot on the way back and probably get ready to call it because this is getting to be too rough this anchor is in good i might have shaken it loose but i was really trying to get it up 
I had it for a second. Oh, it's really down there. I don't know what it's caught on. I might lose this anchor. I had it for a second, and now it's back down. Damn. Let's see if we can shake it. 10 minutes trying, we finally shook the anchor. That's the thing about fishing with structure. You gotta be careful with the wind too, because it can get pretty squirrely. But yeah, we're done with this spot. We're gonna try one more spot maybe. We got time for it and see if we can pull up one or two more fish. All right, as you can see, we've moved to a much more sheltered spot. Uh, it's a little shallower here, but there is some structure. Um, I wish it was a little deeper, but this might be the best we can do to get on rocks uh, in this area. And I've caught fish here before, so let's see if there's anyone home here. I don't need a lot of fish. I just need one or one good one. We've got about an hour left to fish. Though if I get a keeper, I'll end immediately. Just a little under 20 feet. All right, we're right on top of some good submerged structure right now. If there's any blackfish around, they should definitely be right here if they're in this area. About 23 feet of water. And basically I've been trying to say 20 or deeper. 20 to 30 has really been the magic zone this weekend. Earlier in the season, you'd probably get them in as shallow as like 15 feet or even less. But right now, I'm not finding much in the shallows. But it could just be me. There should definitely be some, at least a few fish over here. If they haven't been sniped out already. This is the last spot I'm trying. Unless something incredible happens. But uh, I don't have a lot of time left, so let's see uh, if we can make it, if we can squeak out one more fish, one more keeper. If not, we're still leaving very well. But yeah, we got some nice structure here, so it could happen. Come on, there's got to be at least one fish over here, even if it's a short. Come on, this could be it, this could be it, got him, knew there had to be something here, alright, we'll take it, not a keeper, but I knew there had to be something here, get bigger, Let's see if his, his uh, mom or dad is here, At least we snuck one tog off this rock, off this structure. I'm sure there's got to be some more. Marking fish under the boat too. I don't know if they're tog. Something's down there. Looks like we found one last pile of fish to work with, so we're gonna try and make this work. Get our last keeper. One more, 16 on the dot will take. There we go. Maybe, probably not, but maybe. Decent. Good short. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Let's get a close look at this guy. <laughs> you might do it, but I doubt it. Nice solid pen though. I think it's like a 15 incher. But if you're down there, you can keep the crab. Yeah, it's not going to make 16, but it's a pretty fish. Okay, nice, nice short, just let go. 14 and a half, 15 incher probably. If he's down there, or she's down there, then there should be a, a 16. Capitalize. That's a good fish. Oh man, good fish. Don't lose it. Big heavy fish. Might be foul hooked, I don't know. It feels weird. Yeah, I was about to say, that's felt like bottom for a second. Not a 
terrible tog though. Alright, just got a foul hook tog. Another decent short. It's got to be just one keeper down there. That's all we need. Put this bite together. No, 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 no. Stacking up the shorts. Just one big one, that's all we want. One big one. fish are aggressive. Wow. Tons of tog. That's a better one. That's a better one. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah. That's the one. We'll close with this fish. We can get him. We can get him. 16. I know that fish is 16. <laughs> we did it. We got a double limit two days in a row. Limit a tog. That one's bigger than the first one. I don't know if he's as big as the second one though. Oh, forgot to take my pliers out of here. Oh, that's fortunate. Hell yeah. yeah that's easy. It's probably like a 17 incher. Just for y'all at home to keep me honest. Could just measure them, but I'm thinking like 17 ish. He is. 17 and a half. Another beauty, beautiful tog, beautiful specimen. Folks, that's it. Two days, two limits of tog, and plenty of near falls too, or close calls. But yeah, this guy is gonna join those other two and we'll have quite the, the fish fry meal. No, I shouldn't be holding them like this, but I'm feeling confident. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up with that, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tog outing. Uh, this is being part two of the East End tog fishing. If you like this video and you want to see more tog fishing, please let me know in the comments. It won't be here probably uh, this year at least because I don't foresee myself getting out here. Maybe. I don't know. In fact, let me do a little. Hopefully that's better for you. Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing more fishing uh, all over. And as it gets colder, I'll be probably doing more fresh water. But thank you for watching as always. Uh, more stuff to come soon, one way or another. You know how I like to do. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And thank you for those of you that have been here since the beginning. And of course, goodbye from fishing.